One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I've got here for you today is an absolutely gorgeous 1997 Mercedes Benz. It's the S420, and this is a limo, baby. Crystal Coach, one of the best makers of limos in the whole limo making world. And you know, it's rare to get a Mercedes in these, plenty of Lincolns and Caddies and such around. But this is gonna be an exterior review, and I'm gonna go around and show you what there is to show you on it, and go over everything, and just kinda do a review. This is a quick once around, just to kinda give you the idea. I'm walking like a mile and a half away from the car to get it all in focus, because it's long, baby. So, that's the deal. That's what she, <laughs> insert that's what she said jokes, here. Okay, so, this is once around. And I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna show you close any of the problems, issues, dings, dents, or chips, or whatever this car may have on it. It's a light project. Um, it was probably taken out of service due to the fact that it just had a couple little things it needed. It's only 72,000 miles on this body. Um, that's low, baby, that's low. Barely broken in. So, let's start looking at what we've got here. First off, it's got the W220 or 202. I don't know. W220, I think. I don't know. The newer upgrade kit. And in my mind, why would you upgrade? I don't know. WM40 is my favorite car. So that makes me a little partial. Um, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Uh, 40 to 60 pictures on there. And yeah, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'm going to show you anything wrong with it now. Let's do it. This is busted off. You got to get that new chrome trim. That's how your little grill down there looks. It doesn't look very factory but it's what it is, and it's kind of a combination of the two cars. A um, little scuff right there, and just miscellaneous little chips and things, and then little bubbles, some tiny bubbles in the paint there. You can see tiny around that light. And it's got the same thing kind of here, the chip there actually. And then around this bumper, you've got those tiny bubbles. Hope you can see that, and then on the hood again. So, and on the fender, so, and on this fender, it just kinda, on this area. So I don't know why, where, when, after, or, yeah, I don't know, it's just got it. So it's gonna need to be kinda, you'll see when we go around this thing. It's good, it's clean, it's there, it's not spotless. It's a nice starting point for a great project, and what it depends on on these cars is price. And I got a great, look at them lenses. They must be pretty dang new. I got a great uh, price, I don't think it got much outside storage. On that, I mean, the lenses are nice. I just don't think they got the proper prep under this hood because it's got little bubbles. <laughs> I don't want to sing tiny bubbles again. Wheels are in pretty good shape. Yeah, you could get in here and clean them up a lot. Um, it's starting to chip off in places. Um, tires are great. Good job. Energies, it's great. Tires, what came on these cars? These little tiny bubbles are miscellaneously in here. Miscellaneously. The top's in good condition and I particularly did not put any um, stuff on it. What would you call it? Ch -ch -ch. Vinyl renewer. And it does have a little, is that fading or is that? That is wax on it. Something on it there. And it just needs to be cleaned up, scrubbed down. There's a tiny spot right there. Put a little silicone on that and one spot right over there. All I really see on it, great shape, it doesn't smell all mildewy or leak inside, little crack starting right there. I just had a top put on a limo for 600 bucks. Um, you can see the interior of the, oh, the tent's going. Now, when you stretch these, you obviously have to do some body work. Well, said body work is coming off. And it could actually fall off before you get it or on the way to your transport. But there's some cracks in the, um, the work. And it's filler, of course, and right in here. It's got all this stuff, and there it is. And it's gonna need to be kind of ground down and re-smoothed out, and that's just what you gotta do in this type of a situation. If you're familiar with doing body work and stuff, you know exactly what you're dealing with here. And little areas like this, you got that problem, and that's got a little crack there. But um, for the most part, it's clean. A little crack there. And yeah, a little scuff. And then there's a couple little marks, cracks and such in here. Right in there too. 
chip in the lens. It'll crack right there. So this is not totally smooth. Um, this piece here, supposed to just be, it needs a, there's a little retainer clip in there that goes in it and it's closer. That's what needs to happen there. So nothing really wrong with it. It's just, it is, there's a clip inside of these things that makes them be more even up. Um, so yeah, that's your side shots and everything. The lights here, oh, this is in pretty good shape. Um, just wanna make sure I show you absolutely everything. And I think the mirrors were good. But I mean, the thing is, a little scuff right there. The thing is that you're gonna need to um, do an entire, you're gonna have to take this thing down and spray it. I mean, that's, I wanna focus a little bit on this to where you see from different angles exactly what you're dealing with here. No surprises or nothing in my world. I mean, it looks presentable and good from a distance, but as you get up to it, you can see there's some spots. And a guy could buff it out. We never buff this car out, but buffing the car out you're gonna blast part of that off. Where's your back tire? Great shape. I'd say half tread at least. At least. Probably a little more. And yeah, that's the deal. Chip fell off there, but yeah, just that's what happened. A little that, that, that. And just a little rough on that edge right there. And windows good. That antenna can come off. We don't even need them kind anymore nowadays, do we? And going down this side, it's a lot less damage than the other, but there is a couple spots starting to kind of show up in there. And these things always loosen up just a tad. The antenna thing around here is cracked, and this is kind of off. I think it actually takes a shunk little cap. Um, this line's a little extra thicky. Little ding here. And see, this side didn't do that the same way. A little scratch here and a little crack, crack there. And see, you got that happening right here, it's starting. So I don't know if it's set the other way out, right there too. And that, that was the side in the sun over there, or what? Paint's kind of flaking off here. Lens in the side, I think that's a 2000 and up type of thing. Okay, well that is pretty much going around the outside of it. My camera's having a wonky day here. Um, God, it's clean. As far as dings go, it's straight. <laughs> you never end up parking one of these around anything that somebody can ding into you, I doubt. And I kind of just realized that showing you all that damage on the other side, I didn't look for dings going down this side. Wow, and I'm here to tell you, I'm sure there's a ding in it somewhere that I can't see. There's a ding right there, tiny, no, tiny. It's just, there's this stuff, so. But I don't think you ever park this thing close enough to anything to get a ding. It's the trim's walkered out there a bit. Okay, that is your walk around to the exterior. Crystal Coach, Mercedes-Benz limousine, in a 97 model. With the 2000 and up upgrades. So, I can't think of anything else to show you on this. So, I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna edit the two videos together yet. I've got an interior and an exterior. It has a little tear right there. A couple of little of silicone. There's nothing there. That was something on. There's something there, maybe. Starting. That's it. A couple of little of silicone, and that would be great. That's the one I've shown you from across the other side. Clean car. Well, obvious what's wrong with it. I just showed you. So I don't know how I'm editing the interior and exterior. Small scratch there, small chip here. This and that, but it's gonna all be redone anyways and you're gonna be balling in your Mercedes. 72,000 miles. Uh, don't know how I'm gonna edit the exterior, interior together, but that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, Where, whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com and there'll be the runnability and the interior test drive things and everything coming up somehow in this video or another one. Maybe I hacked it off and started right here. Okay, so between camera issues and having to be somewhere else and just not, not having the best of times on days, I didn't get my test drive in. So, 
So I'm gonna get my test drive in now. And the car runs good. Um, I'm hoping I got more gas than it says. The check engine light does come on. And it does have an ASR and ABS code. I'm gonna get fuel. There we go. It's cool, but it's not ice cold. Um, geez, what you doing, bud? I'm gonna turn it down to where I heard. I heard it kind of blowing in the camera, Abby. Geez, what's this guy doing? He's going off slow. I don't know, but I want to get going faster than this. Okay, it doesn't seem to want to shift. Now the third gear. not going to shift out of the third gear. So it runs, it drives, it does its thing. Um, there's a little loose, I think, exhaust pipe or something right back in the back. It, it goes really good in the first three years, or the first couple. But it's just not going to shift out of that gear that it's in right now. And I haven't tried the winter summer button. looking down a bit there but that's it I mean you can cruise around balls to the walls up to about 50 but it needs another couple gears I don't want to rebuild or do anything like that to the transmission and such because well then you don't get the warranty and I want you to get the warranty um, you can buy a used one on eBay very cheap um, it's clean the inside of this car is very clean very nice I'm going to the gym so I'm just gonna take it on test drive there and then I'm gonna make the test drive because I got interrupted on both the interior and the exterior uh, video, so I'm gonna do the test drive back back to the place and such If you want this car call me it's 406-546-8748 Nathan one owner car um, Thanks for watching you know the fuel the light just came on there and it took a tap up. I'm gonna put this in here and Seeing the tack works and everything um, You know what the gas mileage thing should drop when I do that. I'm under the impression it runs cool but there might be something wrong with the fuel gauge there because I would think that that um, there we go it's working when you're in gear that makes sense as far as the miles per gallon gauge okay well that is your test drive pretty much I'm gonna go in here and get a good workout in and park a limo here I don't know people park RVs here and stuff all the time I guess I can do a, a limo while I work out. Okay, that's that great little driving thing, except for what I've mentioned. And you know, the tranny is going to be the weakest link on these. A filter and a flush, a filter fluid flush type thing could actually do it, the trick on this. But I refuse to do something like that because then I won't drive it long enough to know if that was the actual problem. And I'll be saying, hey, it runs great, drives great. If it does, and then later on you'll have a problem. So I'm just being upfront and this is what's wrong with it and look in the ad and buy it. Call me, 406-546-8748, thanks. Thanks for watching, have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com, a little scratch there. That's the deal, subscribe, comment, and like. And the bell button, I just learned you gotta do that.